All right, for, so for the next part, we are going to be installing the pump. This is a combination D5 pump and reservoir. This is the reservoir section here. It's going to come in a red box like this. And you're also going to need the uni pump holder. So when you unpack those two boxes, there's going to be a lot of accessories in there. Um, this comes like it is, fortunately. Um, and the first thing we're going to do is to install some fittings on it. The fittings you're going to need are two 90 degree adapters, the remaining adapters, and another two compression fittings. You're also going to need two uh, port extenders. The first thing you're going to do is remove the stop fitting on the side of the pump where there's no other fitting ports. You're then going to take that one and you're going to put it on this side on the upper port. You'll see, there we go. You'll see there's another port down here, which is a little lower down. You're gonna put it on the upper one. If you've got it right, it's gonna sit flush with the surface and you're gonna tighten it using the supplied Allen key that you'll have in one of the boxes. You're then gonna take a 90 degree fitting like this and you're gonna mount it into the other port and then you're going to attach a fitting to it like so. Again you're going to tighten these finger tight. You're not going to over tighten them, you're not going to leave them loose. On the other side here we're going to install an extender because if you notice we're going to be installing this but this won't screw down properly because this port is recessed so put that extender port in then we add our 90 degree fitting Then for clearance reasons, we're going to add another uh, little extender here, like so. And then we're going to add the compression fitting on top of that, like so. And we'll explain why we need that extra extender in there in a little bit. So, should look kind of like... Um, those old Texas cacti, you know? So one on kind of either side, EK symbol on the front there. So that's what it should look like. Now we're gonna install the mount to the actual D5 itself. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna dig around in the box of all the accessories that comes with this, and we're gonna find these little pieces. They're kind of rubbery on the side. They have a screw thread sticking out one side and they have a female screw, th th screw thread on the other. And on the D5 here, there's gonna be little threads on the corners, and you're gonna screw that in. And you're gonna need four of these, one to each corner. Again, you're just gonna make these hand tight. You're not gonna over tighten anything. you've done that, you can then install this mount. You're going to take the cables and you're going to put it through like so. And then you're going to mount it 
such that this angled piece is next to the guy with the extender. Remember we put two extenders on this side? This is the side that gets that uh, bracket. So I'm going to turn it up like this. We're now out of focus, but we're going to take these small screws and a plastic washer, and this should be in the same box as this bracket, and an Allen key to tighten, and we're just going to screw it down. Again, you're not going too tight, just enough to secure it. You do not want to be stripping any threads. So now you should see your four screws in there are just about. It's holding this main pump body onto this bracket here. So the next step is to attach this bracket to the next bracket, which is this guy. And with this bracket, there should be two screws. So you may need to uh, rotate this a few different ways to get the, uh, the right angle for yourself to easily do this. There we go. You can see that screw coming through now. And you should be able to do the second one. And you can finish them off with the tool. A little Allen key just to tighten them down. Again, don't tighten them too tight. Okay, so now we've added the brackets to the pump and mounted the fittings to it. The next step is to mount it to the case. So here we have the case with nothing else in it and some of the outer panels removed. Let's put this to the side for now. The first thing we're going to do is remove the motherboard tray. We don't need to do it for this step, but it makes it a little easier for you to see. There's four screws that hold it on, two on either side. Then the motherboard tray lifts out. At this point, if these little brass standoffs aren't put in, uh, you'll need to do that. You don't have to do it right now, but before you put the motherboard on, you're going to need those on there. And we put that to the side. And now we can see a bit more what's going on here in the case. And there's a panel that we need to remove. That's this little cover plate here. If we remove that, what we're going to see is a 120 millimeter fan mount. And that is what we're going to mount our pump with. So now that we've removed those two pieces, we should be able to mount this quite cleanly. This bracket on the back here has four holes which uh, align with 120 millimeter fan mount spacing, which is what we have on the case there. In the box for that, there will also be some screws, uh, short kind of stubby screws like this, um, along with matching nuts matching nut that you won't be able to see on this quality from this far away. Uh, but we're going to use that to secure the bracket through the case wall. So we're going to attempt to do that now, which might prove quite amusing on camera because it's not the easiest thing to line up. So the way I would do this, first of all, you'll dump your wires in out of the way. And you're going to take your screw, put it through the hole. Actually, I won't even use the tool yet. I'll just hold it in place with your finger and take your nut and again, hold it in place with your finger. And you're just going to hold the two together there. And then the same with the others. Hold the screw through the hole just to locate it properly and then just screw the nut on from the other side. The 
and you're not going to tighten these up until you've gone and put all four in. If you have big hands like me, sometimes it can be a little tricky to get in there. And then the best way to tighten it, of course, is to get a, a wrench or something to hold the nut on the other side. We're going to skip that part. Um, so let's uh, take a look, little zoom in and show you exactly how that's mounting up. Okay, so now we have the pump installed. This is a great time to go ahead and install your power supply. You'll see back here, there is a power supply mount there. Um, and you can install the power supply either way around. It's really your preference. Uh, personally, I like to have the fan at the bottom of the power supply. But like I said, no big deal either way. Once you've installed that with uh, th four thumb screws in the back, um, the next thing we need to do is to mount the uh, CPU block to the motherboard. So let's get this case out of the way and take a look at the motherboard.